year. Did that affect the team in any positive way, any negative way? What about the rhythm and that disruption? I think it, you know, with you got guys like Trevor going out and DJ having to step in, you got key pieces to your team that miss some time. It allows young people to step in. So overall, I think it, it helped us ultimately and uh, gave some guys more experience and some crucial times later in the year. We get ready for your second question. If you take about a half step closer to the podium, thank you. Bob Holiday, WRL.com. To your left. Over here. Um, James, people are quite accustomed to, to player turnover at Clemson. Um, great ones go on to the NFL, and great new ones take their place. Your defense this year is unusual in that you hardly lost anybody. What are your expectations for your unit this year? Uh, it's the same every year. It's, it's play good team defense, you know, be in the top five in most of the categories. But to, for me this year, I just want to see all three levels, you know, playing together. I think – Last, week, last year was just a little dysfunctional at times, and uh, I think we have all the things we need to, to glue it all together and have a great defense. James, to your right, far right here in front of me. Joe Hughes, Gaston Gazette. Um, one of your, as you talked about those defensive pieces and the continuity, one of those key, key pieces on the back end, Landon Zanders, what have you kind of seen from him in the offseason, and what do you kind of expect from him? Very unique guy and his athleticism, you know, real bendy, uh, unique tackler too, great in open, open field. Uh, we're real deep, you know, across the board everywhere. Uh, but Landon's a guy who just puts in work, keeps his heads down, stays quiet, and just does his job. So I think another year, you know, I think he was battling injury a little bit, so a whole another year in the weight room. I think you'll see a, a, a completely different player this year. James, follow the center aisle, third person to your left. Hey, Gary McDaniel, Clemson Sports News. Uh, James, uh, can you uh, tag on what the coach said about you at the end of your career as a coach and what, what has influ influenced you to take that decision? Um, I, mean, I just show up every day, and I am in love with what I do. And, you know, when, you're get, when you get old like me, you start to think about, oh, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? And I'm getting to that point, and uh, I just can't think of my life without – the game of football or sports in some way, you know, maybe I'm not, you know, an ex coach V or coach Sweeney, but in some form or fashion, you know, I'll be around this game, you know, and, and that's how, how I see it. It's something I love and I, I just, I can't get enough of it. So I got to have it. James still on the left side about the fifth row. He's about to stand up for us, please. Thank you. Hey James, Zach Wagner with Tiger Net. Not many people get to say they play six years of college football. <laughs> So with that being said, how excited are you to get the season started, especially against Georgia? Um, I mean, I'm very excited. Uh, it truly is the last one, so it's, I got to go out with a bang. But uh, no, it's, we usually end our regular season in Charlotte, uh, so it, it's, it's a pretty cool experience getting to play a team, the Cowboy of Georgia, you know, in a, in a place where luckily we're familiar with. Um, but it's, you know, it's exciting, and, and we're happy we get that caliber of opponent so that we can, you know, Hopefully, you know, prove some people wrong. James, I think we're good. Thank you. Let's Thank you. switch places with DJ. Appreciate you guys.